If you want to create a group or organization for your tabletop RPG world in under a minute, let me show you how that's possible. Using Obsidian, we can use a community plugin known as Database Folders that allows us to create notes quickly and easily within our vaults. Using my group template with a few quick selections and data inputs, we can make stunning yet simple notes that we can use to build up however we see fit. Tools like this are great because we can spend less time worrying about making sure our notes look nice and spend more time actually putting in the relevant data that we need to keep our games running. So, as you can see, that was all pretty simple. One thing to quickly note is within the hierarchy section, we have an issue where essentially when we link the canvas that I'm going to showcase in just a moment, this is putting a exclamation mark in the front. This is a bug essentially. So we just want to delete that. Just get rid of that because it's going to cause some issues later. I will let the teams know about that, but unfortunately right now it's kind of out of our control. Besides that though, we're all done, so let's have a quick look at this note. So as you can see, this is a pretty simple note that gives us the relevant information such as where this location of this group is, gives us some indications of the overview, and it just gives us who's in it, etc, etc. But this is here now, so we can start filling this out. And on that note, if you'll just give me a moment, I'm going to start filling this out with a bit of data just to showcase kind of how this could look. So, as you can see, I've gone ahead and filled out a image as well as filled out some of the additional data such as the culture. Kind of going through some of the rank systems, their trainings, uh, kind of like their uniforms and essentially anything that I deem necessary. But the nice thing about these notes is you guys can change these to however you want. So if you don't want some of these details, by all means, you can always get rid of them and add in relevant information that you think you would use rather than what I think. One other thing that I have added into this template compared to my other templates is the use of canvases, which I mentioned earlier. Canvases are a fairly new addition to Obsidian but they can be useful if used correctly. What I'm using the canvas for is essentially showing the hierarchy of a group. So showing who the leaders are, the chain of command, who falls under who, kind of locations where they are, and all that kind of stuff. There are some amazing things other people have done in the community with canvases, but I tend to stay away from them because there's not too much support for them just yet. However, this gives us a nice visual and kind of gives us an indication of what's going on without too much mess. Do you think you could make use out of this template or other templates I make? If the answer is yes, I highly recommend checking out my Patreon, as it's over in Patreon where I hold my templates and where I give them out to my tier 2 and above patrons to give them a little extra thank you for their support. There, you can find a vault full of my templates, my CAS, plugins, and various settings. So if you're brand new to Obsidian or about to start a new project, then it's already there for you to go. Or if you want to take something put into an existing project, you're more than able to do that as well. But with that being said, I do have to quickly give a shout out to all my patrons that have made this video possible. Especially one of my patrons, Kiri, who actually recommended for this month to do the group template. So once again, I must say thank you to all of you guys that support me as it really does help me out. And just for all of you, I hope you find this interesting. So until next time guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.